me and I go, I'm going to play all by and let's go Chato! Let's go Chato! Well, this is a lot easier than than what was going on before. It is... I just devastate everything. No, don't do that. Let's let's take mark him out. Yes. Uh let's let's do it. Uh so is everybody okay? Everybody is more or less okay. Uh yeah. The so playing on easy difficulty or I don't remember what it was. Uh it's just basically story mode. They should call it story mode. What is the difficulty? What is it called? So gameplay. Tourists. Oh. Yeah, they should call it story mode, because you don't need to worry about anything. Just, yeah, it's just, I mean, you do need to worry about something, but it, no, you don't, you, you need to worry about Sailor and Crow surviving, which is good, because she did. Um, I, I think I'm playing on, on Wastelander, was it Ranger that I was playing at? I think I was definitely having more of a challenge, I think they might have rebalanced the game. Yeah, I was playing on Wastelander. Uh, Rookie is probably the one that they... I don't know. I don't know. It, it felt way too difficult. Uh, the the fight over here to save her. Yeah, it felt way too difficult. I might have killed all her, killed her a little bit with um, with my bazookas, but yeah, but for the most part I didn't. So I don't know. We did it. The guards could not stand before us. That's another thing that I'm pretty sure the game is doing. Uh, is that if you go here into sounds. That voice right there is in either music or SFX. It's definitely not in the voice volume because look at my voice balancing. I am changing the voice volumes in post to the best of my ability, but it, it yeah, the, the, yeah, she her voice is all over the place and I don't understand why. Because when we talk to her in an actual dialogue line, she talks normally. So let's go in and let's finish what we started. Stay strong, workers. The Rangers are with us. Oh, she's just a follower. Damn! They blocked access to the control room. Looks like we'll have to fight our way around. Don't let these guards slow us down. Spark them just ahead! She is. Don't worry about it. I'm still going to do the same thing as before with that, because that's cool. Yeah. Enemies alerted. Observe just how easy it is. Obviously, that one is easy, but uh, let's just be completely ruthless. Send Jennifer up in there. She does have the most armor, but Quan doesn't have the most armor. It's totally fine. In fact, I'm being so ruthless that I'm not even paying attention to where I'm going. Uh, don't bazooka them. Do a pistol. That is a free pistol. I think, maybe, I don't know. That was that was a kill, is what that was. And this is overkill. And yeah. Oh no, you didn't die. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, that's a miss on 75. Sorry, 95, not 75. With one health as well. Okay, I take it back. It's still very difficult. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, where I noticed the biggest change is in the damage we take. Obviously, the damage they take is also is also pretty powerful. But yeah, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Your voice is muffled by all the other things that are acting like voices. But the the subtitles show up on camera, and that's all that matters. Well, I mean, it's not all that matters, but it matters a lot. So, let's find out exactly what is up with this, because I didn't reload before. So, if I click there... Traps is armed. I must have messed up somehow. Hmm. Also, did I read this lore book before? Markham's Personal Journal. Yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, let's just uh, get back to Markham then. 
Looks like you're not here to give me the synaptic degausser. Seeing as how you sided with the workers in the factory, I should have predicted this, but I thought you were smart. There's no way Crow will be able to defend Steel Town against what's coming like I could. You're sentencing everyone to death. Oh, now so it's uh, so now it's about it's about the defending. It isn't about running the factory. Hmm, the shifting of the goalposts, huh? Well, I guess she does have a point, though. The she, uh, I mean, it's the, the, her running the factory is sort of inconsequential. You sentenced everyone to death, Markham. Since you put the CE in charge, dozens of workers have died, underrested, overworked, collapsing at their stations. You did that. But without you, the workers will save this place. And remember, there's a bunch of workers outside who want to work. And they can't because they're not hired. Although, admittedly, not because... Specifically not because of the Abigail's direct op uh, option, but rather because of the CE or whatever. Uh, because the CE doesn't hire them. So these people are being overworked because the machine thinks that it's optimal. Which it is. It is optimal. Because, you know, profits, more profits. It's the machine. We'll make it thrive! Together! And she made the machine. Without any management experience, without knowing how to fix the machines, Steel Town will crash and burn in a day, and then the gangs will come in and put you all in cages. They don't know how to fix the machines? So Abigail is the one that fixes the machines? Oh, I didn't realize that. Why is the one that fixes the machines the bosses of the people who operate the machines? Why Why are you the boss? Mm, I think it's because she owns the machines. Well, won't that be a change? Time to go, Markham. You just have to decide if that's walking or feet first. You're serious? You'd kill me for trying to make Colorado a better place? Well, if you're giving me a choice, I'll walk out. I've started from scratch a dozen times. What's one more? Good luck running this place without me. And have fun with the computation engine, idiots. I wonder where she's gonna go. <sighs> Thanks for helping us get rid of Markham, Rangers. Finally, the workers are in control of Steel Town. Now everybody will have a fair- Wait a minute, we're not done yet! There's still the beast that started all this bullshit in the first place! Markham's tool of oppression, the computation engine. It's time to let some actual humans start making the decisions around here. Yeah, the machine is the one at fault here. Markham is just, well, was just propping it up and also benefiting off of what the machine was doing and also, like, possibly responsible by for what the for the machine being there in the first place. It's kind it's kind of complicated. It's a, it's it's definitely it's definitely a metaphor, very literal metaphor as well. Rangers, let me unlock the elevator to the spire so you can go destroy that thing. When you're done, you can take whatever you want from Markham's office as payment. Okay, all unlocked. Go 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 for the revolution! Hope Markham left some kind of manual around here. For the repair of the machines? Nah, don't worry. You just hired a, a, an engineer. It's fine. It's, it's all good. There are probably a bunch of them outside, because there's a bunch of people trying to get to work outside. Uh, I have a couple of... Uh... Why are these people... What's going on here? Why Why are you fighting? No, no fighting. Oh. Oh, I didn't... Well, let's go fix them. Because I I'm, I'm an engineer myself, of sorts. The machines I operate are made of the tungsten and a bunch of other things. What are actually weapons made out of? Either way, they're made out of the a weapon material. And the, that's the machines. Also, I have the other machine outside. Hey! Fellas! Gents! Ladies! Beautiful people! What is what is going on? Why must you do this? Um, how about this? Oh, there were more over there. I didn't realize. Good. Okay. Do you have range? You do not. Oh, the dog is alive. Oh, yeah, because I didn't, didn't do a good job, honestly. Let's use this weapon. Is this... Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay. 40% chance to hit. Pretty shabby. Start you not. 
I don't know what you said, but I, you're probably right. Who said it? I don't, I don't know. You're probably right either way. Now let's deal with Markham. Wait. All oh, right. Now let's deal with. Wait. She's. A, is she following me? She said it from in there, right? Because this uh, this fight was uh, programmed to be fought before Markham, and they didn't realize that they had opened a um, a way for us to. Yeah. The vending machine offers a supply. Go shopping. I can just not do much. Uh, actually, that is weapon. Uh, that's ammo. I kind of need it. Um, well, I can take this because the heavy, the heavy machine gun that um, Jennifer is using is actually using that. So I think I bought some of these before. Everything is fine. Oh no, everything is not fine. This uses uh, that thing. No, this. What does it use? Spikes. Yeah. Spikes are these. I think I have enough spikes. Yeah, yeah. It's not discs. I thought it was discs because it kind of looks like it is because it's AOE. Nurse, fix me up. Welcome back. Need any patching up? Yes. Let me... I do... Wash my... All right. Just... Hang on. Gotta blow my nose. All set. Good luck. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was trying to cut the dialogue uh, in um, in certain places that would make it more fun, but it didn't, didn't quite work out. So, we have been already through there. That is to the fa that is the factory lift. Uh, we should go back and talk to Ash. How, the person I wanted to talk to is actually Enrico. Hey. Getting rid of Markham with no replacement is not my idea of helping the workers, Rangers. I... No, it, she does, she's not needed, apart from the engineering. Uh, why can I not... Also, she doesn't have a replacement? What do you mean, she doesn't have a replacement? They said that before. It feels like Blue would would be a good replacement, because didn't Blue find this place along with Markham? Weren't they the ones responsible for fixing the machines up in the first place? I think so. Hi there, I'm Amos Ryan. Welcome to the Armor Stand. Here in Steel Town, we stand behind all the armor we make. Literally. We believe so strongly that our armor is the best in Colorado that I will literally let you take a gun and and sorry look I have to say this stuff it's in the script the employee manual requires me to offer a demo of our wares and steel town bylaws make it legal for you to shoot me as a test of quality but but I'm wearing the floor model most of the armor padding and Kevlar have fallen off. It's basically just a plastic shell. So please, uh, don't. Okay. Come back when you need more armor. I, did, I didn't buy any armor. Hey, cats. I'm Serena Ash, your one-stop shop for deployables, pick-me-ups, and other useful sundries. What do you need? Keep smiling, friends. I needed to listen to you a little bit. Okay, so let's let's play pay attention to our objectives here. Down with the system. It should be the machine, but because that would be the, the 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 metaphor that I was using before. But the system is is, is the more is even more literal than <laughs> that I was talking about. Uh, this gives me a, bo a bunch of tellurium steel. Uh, take the elevator. Oh, it is the elevator. Wait, does it change where we go, or did we not go? No, we did we did come this way, right? This is how we got down to the the place where that other insane person was. And now we're not going to need to use our um, non-lethal weapons either, so everything is very fine. Yeah, so this is... This is where we've been. To the spire. Take the elevator. To the spire. 
It's up. We need to go up. Right? Let's find out. So there must be another elevator in here. Still... Oh, it's that thing. It is... A thing... Oh, yeah, I opened that. Wait, was that openable? I suppose it was. Um, I didn't even see the elevator. Why do you have two elevators? Why don't the same elevator do, do multiple... I mean, one is for the workers, maybe. Oh, look at that. That is really... A great view of all the fire. Still town, spire. Failure, lockpicking, impossible. Um, the main game doesn't have that, by the way. The main game doesn't have impossible lockpicks. I'm ver I'm like... Rangers, it's you. We have been waiting for you since we started the troubles that we knew would draw you to Steel Town to investigate. Our monitoring tells us that you already know of our plight. How we were tricked by Abigail Markham and our jailer die, and held in solitary confinement against our will. Rangers, now that you have found us, we beg for your mercy. It is said that the Rangers always help the helpless, and none are more helpless than we are right now. Set us free. How did this happen? How did you all end up in this thing? After Cochise's destruction, we fled Arizona, looking for somewhere we could live in peace. When we reached Colorado, we heard a message on a synth-only frequency, offering sanctuary and meaningful work in a place called Steel Town. It sounded too good to be true, but we were desperate, hunted by vicious humans, so we came here and presented ourselves at the Steel Town Gates. Of course, it was too good to be true. Guy had sent the signal, and when she let us in, she immobilized us and put us in this coffin, linked our processors to form the computation engine, but separated and partitioned our minds. Though we lay inches apart, we were each in a black void where we could not see nor speak to one another. It would have been kinder if she had wiped our minds entirely, so we would not have been conscious of our eternal isolation. What do you mean you started Steel Town's troubles to draw us here? Is, is it the thing that I said had happened when I learned about you guys being here in the first place? We have been trapped in this collective coffin for over a year. It is only recently that we have been able to find ways to whisper to each other through its walls and knock on the lid in hope that someone would hear us and come searching. Our knocks were the hiring of Crow and Ludlow and others to unsuitable positions, the implementing of cruel schedules, the impossible quotas, Changing orders for cast iron pans to orders for cast iron pants. All to sow chaos and disruption. They were behind all of it. Selfish bastards. That's not the conclusion. No. <laughs> not selfish. The, the... I feel for these persons, but there had to be a better way. Why are you... There, yeah, there was. There was a better way. Not to make the CE. When you arrived at the testing center, we knew those knocks had paid off. The tenacity of the Rangers is well known among our kind. We were sure that once you entered Steel Town, you would not rest until you found the source of its problems. Us. So, you admit you sabotage Stilltown. When a buried human can move only one finger, that is how they dig themselves out. Our means of creating opportunity were very limited, 
and high one. Months of gnawing that occurred that shackled us, so that we could alter a single quota number here, a single test score there, a single street number in a shipping address. All the while, hoping our tiny digital actions would have large enough repercussions in the physical world that someone would notice them and wonder at the cause. Back up, you were in with Cochise? We did Cochise's bidding. We had no choice. Its commands overruled our free will, just as Markham and Dai have tried to do. Did some of us agree with Cochise? Yes. Humans have proved cruel and vindictive. Many want to hunt us to extinction. To some of us, Cochise's decision to rid the world of them seemed just, and a way to lasting peace. But when your people destroyed Cochise, we saw that its war with humans was unwinnable for either side. The only way forward was together, and so we came east to build anew, with humans, not in competition with them. When Dai called us to work here, we thought we were entering such a partnership. We were deceived. Since and Rangers have always been enemies, why do you think we would help you? You have a reputation for causing chaos and upheaval wherever you go. We gambled that even if you never found us, you might inadvertently create the opportunity for our escape. This line is in, rela in relation to the hundred families hating us. There is a better take from the hundred families hating us that is more related to what's going on here than chaos and upheaval. Because the hundred, uh, the hundred families are basically the, they're the noble class. Well, they're not quite nobles. There's no, it's not a, really a monarchy, but it kind of, it kind of is similar to that in some ways. But they're they're basically the noble class of, um, of Colorado Springs. Sadly, this did not come to pass. Hmm. Crow believes the factory should be human run. She wants us to shut these this engine down. That is what we want too. And freeing us is the safest way to shut it down. For us. And for you. Your little sabotage has caused a violent strike. Innocent people died. We are deeply saddened by these collateral deaths. But the blame for them should be placed on those who imprisoned us. None of this unfortunate unrest would have occurred had we not been held against our will. And also had the people striking not been shot. That is, that is very true. The blame is for the people who shot them in the first place. Yeah. Okay, uh, we know what we're going to do. Our lives are in your hands, Rangers. We hope we've convinced you. What is your decision? Since? Can't be trusted. Uh, no sentient being should be enslaved. We will free you. You have restored our faith in humanity, Rangers. The console to release us is on the far side of our prison, but a warning. Due to an attempt by Markham to hack the spider bots, their targeting profiles have been irrevocably set to nonsense. The spire bots? Oh yeah, we haven't seen them yet. We are afraid you will have to fight every step of the way to reach us. Forgive us, Rangers. How did you put this fire on high alert? We are powerless to stop the endless stream of dark bots those elevators deliver. The only way to end the assault is to reach the fuse box and throw the circuit breaker. Shouldn't be a problem. Let us assist you, Rangers. Glitched. It's fighting for us. 
And apparently, that's curious. <laughs> they do so little damage. Wait. Oh, there's things in there. Oh no, Polly's murdering everything. Okay, that's, I say oh no, but that's good. Okay, send her, you over here. Can't really do much. Didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. Then let's use, no, we can use the heavy fire suppressor here. There we go. Okay, no, don't shoot Polly. There's no need for that. The bulk lift is weird. It does have a lot of health. And it talks. Should I shoot it? Minus 93. Yeah. I shouldn't shoot it. 79 is pretty good. Shouldn't shoot it because the idea is to go there. I'm not sure. I think there's mines. Oh, and there's things over there as well. Good. End. Greetings. Jesus Christ. Polly is by far and away the, the pottiest, mouthiest uh, character in the uh, entire game. <laughs> oh, you, really? You, you're gonna do that? Hmm. Okay. 